So the Brian's 1,000 and 2,000. You see some starlets that are hanging around. And this is on the first stack. Right now, Carl Olson is a guy who is uh, really on a bubble at 15,000. He's our short stack, looking way up at Clayton Mosden at 72,000 chips. Our chip leader, Olson, is a guy who played near perfect poker the first time around, and he obviously loves to play the game, but he also has a creative passion. Right now, I'm playing poker professionally, but if I were to do something else, I would most like to be a musician. I don't know. I, I'm okay. I'm all right. <laughs> I feel very confident coming into tonight. I think it's going to be more difficult, but, uh, you know, I think I'm probably still the favorite. Mom and Dad made the trip down from the Pacific Northwest. Ellen and John Olson cheering on their son, Carl. And uh, right now, Carl can use all the help he can get. He's at 15,000 yeah. chips. Got to be selective. Playing defensive. Yeah, that's never something you want to do when you're at a poker table, be in defense. The best defense at the poker right. table is a good offense. Four raises to 4,000. Fold. C2 folds, C3 folds. Hall and Williamson could hook up here. I'll raise another fold. C4 raises to 3 raises to 8,000. I fold. C5 folds. I fold. C6 folds. Now what we're going to do. He should fold. Yes, he should. Fold. He's scaring me. Well played. Surprise, scared me. Fold. That's what you wanted me to do, wasn't it? Maybe. Mine, please. Come on, I'll help you. It's a trick in poker. Barry, if you haven't figured it out after 42 episodes of the Poker Dome, is to get your opponents to do pass. the opposite Fold. of what they would do if they could see your cards. Four folds. We'll play a table. Kyle. The roller. I raise pot. Six raises to 8,000. Lucy has a lead here. Fold. Seat one folds. Does have the best hand. Yep. Seat it's a good five. fold by Phipps. Yeah, it is too. I'll tell you, Boston is playing, not only is he playing confident, but he's playing extremely well. It seems to have a pretty good feel for his competition. He just wanted to give me chips. that if he wants to write oh, his ticket to the million dollar table, he can't count on any of his opponents uttering an unfortunate expletive. Call. He's gonna have to outplay them. Yeah. Check it. Oh, Waterman and Williamson, neither of anything to be real proud of. And Jack Ace, Waterman with position. 5,000. One bet's 5,000. Pass. Good play. One very effective way of obviating that positional disadvantage is just to go out and bet like you made a hand. Zach Williamson earns that pot. Yeah, he did. He's our other Canadian guy from Ontario, Canada. As you said, he uh, kind of liked to be a sportscaster out of it. Why? <laughs> Wouldn't be at the Poker Dome, though, if it wasn't for his family. I've been married just under a year to my wife Lucy, and I have a daughter. She's nine years old. Her name's Morgan. I also have a nine-month-old boy. His name's Xavier. Well, the reason I tried to qualify for the Poker Dome was to win money for my family because sometimes it's tough to pay the bills, and uh, you got to get ahead somehow. Well, I feel I have a good chance to win tonight, but I wouldn't consider myself the favorite. Um, I got to play the cards I'm dealt, and uh, I think fate will decide the winner. Very practical approach. Joyce Williamson is mom. She was here the last time you won. Good luck, Charlie.
Hopes to go two for two. No way. And right now he's at 40,000 no, chips. A little below the middle Great. Line. So when I was being silly yeah, right there, the camera was on. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> oh, wow. Look at Paul and Phipps. This could be interesting. Both guys just disguising the I mean. power of their hand. Call. And that's going to allow a lot of I these call. weaker, more speculative hands Check. to get in very cheaply. You will see that Hall will remain a favorite here, but all sorts of guys can run him down, and Fitz just has. Yes, he has. Hall has to be very careful here. Five-handed. C2 checks. Check. C3 checks. Two. He's got a this is a very interesting hand here. Most interesting hand we've had tonight. Paul is putting up the minimum bet just to test the waters. And again, the Kings are very powerful pre-flop, but when you let four other guys get in there, you know you're probably somebody's going to connect there, and you are not going to be a prohibitive favorite. And right now, getting raised there, Hall should know that he's beat. Phipps leading all, oh, 144. Oh, he called. Waterman would have made trip queens, but now that, that third club, I think, scares both players. Oh, and a fourth club. Phipps has the nuts. The king high to go with that ace there. He has the absolute best flush you can have. It's not the nut hand. Four queens would be the nuts, but he has the nut flush. Ten. C5 bets 10,000. Well, let's get commentators something to talk about. Follow. <laughs> <laughs> Thank well, you, Ryan. We'll talk about it. I thought Coach put a great hand there. <laughs> And he takes it down, and actually it was well folded, I thought, by Hall. He minimized his losses. And that makes Phipps the co-chip leader with Mazda. We're coming back.